Yeah, I'm Nikolai, and um, I'm not not a technician. I'm an artist, a visual artist, and uh, I'm gonna present you um, the other Nefertiti a, a project which we did recently. I say we because I did I didn't do it alone. I um, I work with uh, a colleague, which will give tomorrow. Uh, she will give tomorrow a talk, as well, and um, I'm gonna briefly. Uh, through what we did, so you get an idea of it, and then we're going to talk about the role of uh, museum uh, in um, as as a gatekeeper. As uh, and and I try to link uh, our world from from the culture and from uh, from a cultural heritage perspective to what tech and science uh, um, can do, can do with it. Or where 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 are the, where are the links between these these two? Um, so, the, the Nefertiti is a bust. Uh, the bust of Nefertiti is a more than 3,000 year old um, uh, artifact, which is uh, stored in the, or on display in the um, Neue Museum in Berlin. And it uh, originates from Egypt, um, from ancient Egypt. And uh, 100 years ago, or more than 100 years ago, it was uh, brought to Berlin. And um, and it is a public av available for tho those who can travel to Berlin and uh, to visit uh, and pay their entrance fee to the museum, and then you can uh, have a look at it. But uh, the high-resolution data, which uh, the museum scanned the the object, and is uh, is not available to the public, and. Um, this object stands for thousands and millions of other artifacts which are stored in uh, um, museums around the world. And me, as a German, I have this perspective on, on, uh, on, on European museums. And uh, it's always, when you visit these museums, you can uh, feel the notion of uh, colon colonization in uh, which goes um, along with these artifacts. Um, so we decided to, to uh, um, okay, now we plant a coop and um, we, we figured out where, where the watchmen around the museum, this bus is where really high uh, uh, secured and there are two permanent uh, watchmen and uh, two more in the pathways. So um, we fig figured out the rhythm, how they move, and uh, then we stepped in with a, with a uh, scan device and scanned the bus. So finally we, uh, we um, did a, uh, an art heist, by uh, a digital art heist, if you want. So, and um, this is a video, you can see it online. I go through, because we have to hurry. And... Um, this is the is the outcome of of, uh, of this heist, and um, it's really high resolution uh, data set. And then, on the CCC uh, uh, Chaos Computer Con uh, Congress in um, end of the last year in Hamburg, we released the data online. So if you go to this address, you can you can download a high resolution data set of. Uh, this Nefertiti, if you are interested in uh, 3D printing or stuff like this, or just play around with it in 3D programs. And um, I mean, what, what, what's about the aim to do this? We reclaim the, the cultural institution as a public space again. So we, we, don't, uh, we don't want administration to decide what is culture or not. We, we are the people uh, doing the culture, so it's not up to the to the institution or some administration guys to decide what is culture and what is culture about. And um, but we we come later back to this. I gonna step. Then then we um, we uh, this was on the airport security. We we made a 3D print and we traveled to uh, Egypt to exhibit this bust for the first time in Egypt. So in the airport, if you this uh, this uh, for non-Egyptian arrival, you have to sign these uh, papers, and you find the 
the, the image of her as well there. And in the airport, as well in the entrance hall, you can find this uh, sculpture, which is uh, meant to be Nefertiti as well, but so there's no access. They had to have to do it like this. And another example uh, is this one, uh, which is a huge one in some entrance of a village, uh, which a sculpture did. And uh, it, it, it provokes a lot of um, uh, uh, viral uh, reaction in the internet, so he had to remove it again. Um, so, but be, uh, before we, before we um, um, exhibited the bus in Egypt, uh, we, we launched this video. It's very hard to see, I guess, but we staged a second find of, the, of, of a second bust. So in the internet, on YouTube, you can find a lot of uh, videos from uh, uh, guys who are digging for, for artifacts, because it's full of uh, artifacts over there. And then they try to sell it on, on eBay or on, on, on the internet. So, um, and this uh, illegal market is uh, allowed UNESCO. I'm, maybe they can correct me, my former speaker. It's the third biggest illegal market in the world after weapons and drugs. So this is really an issue. And, uh, um, but I can't go deeper into this, because we have to move on. But it is an issue, really. Uh, so then we exhibited the bus there in downtown Cairo for the first time. And we launched in the German newspaper. Um, we told them in, in the newspaper we told that we're gonna release the data, and the the journalist uh, called us the Robin Hoods of antiquities. And uh, thanks for that. And now here's again the the um, um, domain where you can download it. And now I try an experiment. I don't know if it worked. This was the reaction of all what uh, on the internet of all the people that downloaded and and this is the experiment. Okay, the the reaction was huge. There was a lot of uh, um, people scanned, um, printed it, and played with it around, and um, and then the. Um, they called us double gangster in, 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 in Holland, in Netherlands. And um, the, the New York Times had to go double through it because uh, there were some discussion and false information inside. It was a huge discussion on BBC, took it up. And, um, but now I want to come uh, to what it is about, like um, why we did it. I mean, um, I'm going to read this, maybe. Um, with this controversy of ownership in mind, about it, my colleague and Nellis also want uh, more broadly f for museums to reassess their collection and the critical eye and consider how they present and the narrative of objects from other cultures they own as a result of colonial histories. Um, the fact is that in, in from a uh, European uh, perspective, most of the cultural heritage is from the global south. So we storage the heritage of other cultures, and um, this leads to. Um, I'm gonna make it more quick. These are with the museums. Um, um, Sorry, I'm lost. I skip this. OK, museums serve as an ideological role uh, by separating artifacts from their origin and depriving people of their historical memory. So um, there's a huge movement and uh, ideas 
around the, the uh, scene that these kind of museums uh, either been, should be uh, closed down or merge with other museums or else reinvented as centers for multicultural debate, says um, the curator from uh, the uh, Trope Museum in Amsterdam, which is exactly, uh, especially it's a, it's a good example, the, this, kind, this museum uh, particular. And um, it is about possession. Uh, it is uh, to, to possess um, these objects is, is the only function which, which stays when, when, the, um, when the deconceptualization happens. So you, you, you get it out and you bring it to another, to another um, context and then the, the function is uh, it's not there anymore. And there's a, uh, by the way, there, um, the, the most visited museum in, uh, in um, Germany is a BMW museum. Like, you have to imagine, it, it's about museum and it's about culture. And uh, the, the most visitors um, reclaims the, uh, or goes to the BMW museum like for cars. This is, this is something what, what I, I concern about, which I, I think there, there, there's a lack of, uh, of uh, um, considering um, of the conception to have something or to be in it. Um, the, and um, Sorry, I'm a bit lost, actually. Um, the, our world is to... I think what, what, what's, what's important here, it's um, that, that we... That we, um, that, that we... We can use... How, how, we can, how can we use uh, technology? I, I'm not. I, I'm an artist. I'm not. A, I'm not an expert in anything. We, we have help from from experts and friends of mine are good hackers. But I, I reclaim hacking as an as an uh, piece of art as well. Like uh, to do something with technology. And as well, I consider some of technicians. They are more artists than than uh, only technicians. But it's always the dual use. It's always what what you can what you are doing with it. So. Um, I think we, we can use technology in so many ways um, to preserve cultural heritage, and I, I'm so lucky that uh, UNESCO is here as well. They, they are they are uh, trying to to work in, on this field as well, um, and but it's important that it it's not we we, we can't uh, we can't uh, uh, give it up to to some institution or, or, or govern, governments to do it. So there, there's, a, there's a cultural value um, which, which has to come from us, from the people. And we should, uh, uh, we have to reclaim the museum uh, public space. And we have to, uh, we can decide how we're going to use the technology. And uh, the, the open approach for, um, or this FOSS approach, I think this fits very well with what, what we are thinking uh, on, um, on culture and on art as uh, artists. And with that, thank you, thank you very much.